Delaney product R107 3 AC. It sells for 25 to 50 plus dollars. It contains a diaphragm, which I need to change. I can get only. And that sells for roughly about $5 to $15. And they can even go as high as uh, double that. It has this little stick that goes straight down that allows this to flush. Listen to the flush. Well, because I let the water out, it's going to knock. It doesn't flush all the way. So we want to shut our water off. And this is where we would turn our water off, over here, or down below. This controls the amount of water that goes in. This controls the amount of flush by taking this cap and using a screwdriver. When you do this uh, type of repair, you have to let this diaphragm really get wet. If it doesn't get wet, what's going to happen is it will constantly flush over and over. It's an old system, an old flushometer. I want to change this out to a tank. Uh, all this has to be taken apart and fit in there. So let's see if we got everything. No water's dripping. Grab yourself a monkey wrench, I call this. And just loosen it up. There's types of angles that this can go on. We're almost there. Slide it on, tighten it up, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So that wasn't too tight. It does come off. You can get some rope dope or Teflon tape to wrap around this so it doesn't drip. As you take this off, water is going to come out. As you can see, there's a little piece of rubber. Place that to the side, out of the way. Take the little pulley. Get your finger in there because it's going to be hard to get this diaphragm out. If it doesn't come out, get the little pulley that you've taken out. And just see if you could simply try to free it. I don't have any screwdrivers and the other tools with me. I will get this out. It's a little struggle, but it'll come out. Off it comes. This can be replaced by simply unscrewing, taking this piece out, and saving this. Don't throw this piece out. This is what you really want to change, just this diaphragm right here. Once you change that diaphragm and you put these two pieces back on, you're good to go. Now let's show you how simple it is to do that. Save the number because you're going to go to DelaneyProducts.com and figure out how to order it. And that's why I ordered this part. I got two kits. This is my last kit. That was the first kit I used. So simply lay in. Make sure it fits on there that this little notch fits over the aerator that goes on done let the water absorb on it you can come back uh, 20 minutes later or you can simply try to flush it now very painful video you want to make sure this is nice and tight Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So as I start to tighten this, I don't want to over tighten and break my joints. I want to make sure I tighten this and hold the base underneath. 
one more nice uh, spin that should do it turn this back hear the water go through and that's going to run for a good 10 minutes until you free this going to constantly flush that's the problem I always get that means I pop this up and free it Ooh, I lucked out on this one. This is going to drip. I'm going to have to fix that one day. Ah, nice fixed toilet. I saved the parts. Go to the plumbing store and see if I could get another diaphragm. On that note, I thank you very much for stopping by. You all have a great day. I'll fix this at a later time. That's going to drip, drip, drip. Just to give you a little update. Put the monkey wrench on here. Did my best to give a little bit of pressure. And the drip is gone. Now, I simply... Uh, Try to put everything back together again. Don't want to disturb it. And off we go to another project out there.